Industrial engineering is an interdisciplinary engineering that explores one to a variety of fields from manufacturing, technology, finance, sales, and so is economics. But why is that? How can one coordinate this exposure and put it to good use, either in their business or in the industry? Welcome everybody. It's nice having you again here on JRABE, a platform for industrial engineering and business. Now, before we can effectively answer these questions, let's first look at what industrial engineering is all about. According to the American Institute of Industrial Engineers, industrial engineering is concerned with the design, improvement, and installation of integrated systems of men, materials, and equipment. It draws upon specialized knowledge and skills in the mathematical, physical sciences together with principles and methods of engineering analysis and design to specify, predict, and evaluate the results to be obtained from such a system. Now, what does this mean? Before I simplify it for you, kindly like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get down to business. Let's talk about your normal laundry activity, which will require you to complete a certain series of activities. Firstly, you load the clothes into the machine. You then add detergent and other supplies you may be using for your laundry. You set up the machine to complete the desired action and the required time to complete these actions. You then run the machine and wait for it to finish processing your laundry. Upon completion, you then unload the machine and head out to hang the clothes on the washing line. Now we put these activities together in a simple flow diagram. We then determine the time for each activity and get a total of 135 minutes or 2 hours 15 minutes for one batch of laundry. But now say you have two batches of laundry to do. How long would that take you? Would it then take you 4 hours and 30 minutes? Perhaps not, because the best course of action would be to coordinate the activities from the first lot and the second lot. So instead of hanging and drying the laundry after unloading the machine, we decide to unload the machine and load the second laundry before hanging and drying the first one. This will give us a total of 3 hours 30 minutes to run two batches of laundry. This means we'll now be able to save 60 minutes of hanging and drying that would have resulted in idle time of the machine. But what if you had to do more than two loads? Say you had to do 10 loads. That would save you nine hours of time that you could have spent if you had not coordinated the laundry activities. But what do we get from this? Coordination of activities is one key aspect of industrial engineering. But then, is industrial engineering only limited to this? Not at all. We can then decide to look at the laundry activity from a systems point of view. With a systematic approach, we first consider the money. We determine how much do we have on hand? How much are we willing to spend? What are we willing to spend on for our laundry activity? We then look at the machine. Is it a manual or automated machine? How long does it take to run a load? How does it get set up and what maintenance is required for us to get the best quality? We then look at the men or human resources required. What safety measures are to be taken on the machine? How many people are required to do the amount of laundry you are doing? Another variable to consider is the materials and supplies needed. What's the best detergent brand? What amount is needed to suffice for the amount of laundry that you have to do? How much would it cost? The method is one major variable to be considered. You would need to know what needs to be done, how, with what resources. We also need to determine the energy requirements for the type of machine technology or process we are using. In this case, the electricity required, its availability, and the power source to be used. The use of information is as well important in this activity. You need to know the forecasted weather conditions for the day, the type of material you are washing, and how it has to be washed. Now, putting all this together, we have coordinated activities and integrated a system required to do a laundry activity in order to optimize the time, the cost, and the quality.
Making use of this approach will optimize any type of system, whether simple or complex, by making it efficient, effective, and also maximizing its productivity. So there we have it guys. Industrial engineers make use of various models to integrate and coordinate elements of a system, whether in the industry or in the business world, to optimize cost, time, and so is the quality. This is why industrial engineers are exposed to a variety of fields. It's so that they can look at things from a systematic point of view. This view, the bird's eye view. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll also like for you to share with us what is your definition of industrial engineering in the comment section.